<sighs> Who's good potato spin the leak here and it's time for another episode of the looking glass if you're not familiar with the looking glass Basically, I just pick a game that I've been playing or have played in the past, do a little bit of it so you can enjoy it and so that I can talk about it a little bit. This, I'm not playing on doing a Let's Play or anything like that. If you guys request it, sure, why not? But for the most part, I just want to chill out, play a game for a little bit of, uh, a little bit of time and, uh, you know, do my thing. Fuck doing online, I'm going to go offline. Now, I haven't done a lot of uploads recently because I, I really haven't had the energy to, but, you know, it is what it is. Now, in this game, you have four different campaigns. You have New York, Jerusalem, Moscow, Tokyo. Each of them have their own characters. To go ahead and go through the story, roughly three missions and their own, like, kind of subplot. Each of those is going to have the three missions, yada, yada, yada. Here are the four characters. Uh, I don't want to play as him. I want to, uh... I want to switch over to Bunko. Now, the reason I pick her is I identify more with a loner hacker than I do a member of the Latin Kings, a firefighter that survived 9-11 and has survivor's guilt, or a mother looking for her husband and child. So, yeah, I'm going to go straight with that. Let's see, customizations. I can go ahead and customize my class now. Yes, there are skill trees for each different class. Each class levels up independently. And weapons, you can buy upgrades and level them up by using them. I typically recommend having roughly three that you use frequently. I love the SMG. I really do. But I spend most of my time using the assault rifle. And uh, believe it or not, I think, yeah, the compact SMG. The, those are my you know, go-tos, and as far as classes go, I've been preferring the Gunslinger to the Hellraiser, Medic, Fixer, Slasher, Exterminator, any of them. So the Hellraiser, I think, uh, you know what, fuck it, I can actually just go to the uh, class selection screen and tell you a little bit about it. Oh yeah, if you're wanting to skip all this shit and go straight to the gameplay, I'm probably going to put in a number or a time to skip to right about now. So, yeah. Okay, so the Gunslinger, it's really, you know, just... You know, being able to run and gun, all that good stuff. The Hellraiser has a talent for blowing things up. The Hellraiser is masterful of explosions, blah, blah, blah. The Medic can heal. Pretty simple. Fixer always on hand to keep the war machine running, so resupplies of ammo and explosives. Uh, there's nothing like cold steel to put the enemy down, so you get melee proficiency. And the Exterminator excels at crowd control, thinning out swarms, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, it looks like you know, everything's fairly well balanced. You got, like, what What was it again? Like, uh, how many, uh... Yeah, you got five classes for four potential characters, and that you can level them all up, you can level up all the weapons, why the fuck not? I'm actually gonna go with the first level, I'm gonna go ahead and just, I don't know, I guess I'll just play on normal difficulty, and, uh, I'm gonna let the AI do its thing. So, yeah. I haven't played this in a few days, like I said, I really have, haven't had the energy, I... I knocked out all of Terraria from scratch in a week. Not 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 the let's play. I I started playing on my PC for the first time because I I didn't know what it was like on on computers. Uh, knocked out in a week, no issue. Just Moon Lord down. Why the fuck not? Now I'm wondering exactly where. Well, again, this is based off the movie universe, not the novel universe. I, I prefer the novel universe when we're talking about World War Z. Uh. I, don't know, I, I feel like the politics behind it is a lot more interesting than just an individual survivor's efforts. And yeah, I, I know that the that the book's just stories from survivors and you know people who were there, but there's there's a lot more going on. There's there's a lot of depth to it. Hello, we alive? Loading screen? God damn it, Bunko. I will leave your ass here. No, you won't. Exactly. We all chilling. Holy shit! Wow, some of them are frozen and just flipping over the car. Not going into the subway. You've heard the stories. We will starve here. The subway is our only chance. Well, that's fine by me. Take it to Inwood. Get to the evac center and get the fuck out of New York. Or we die here. Uh, yeah, because uh, we're right. definitely not going to die along the way or get fucked up, and it's not going to be completely overrun. All right, so it, I hate I hate saying this, but this is the best way. No, you know what? I'm not going to do it. Everyone else does it. I'm not going to fucking compare this game to another game. Okay, that, I, I'm just going to look at this as a standalone title. I'm not going to sort out into any genre other than a zombie genre. So you have two firearms, a special weapon, your explosives, maybe some extra equipment that you pick up along the way. Uh, you were able to kill carry one med kit at a time. You can heal yourself, you can heal allies. Uh, that uh, about sums that up, so let's go ahead and get the fuck in here. Now, we're going to take a little bit of a stealthy approach, and then we're going to try to breach loud once again a certain weapon. If the map decides to spawn it, yeah, go ahead and kick it open. So, for the most part, I use I use mostly silenced weapons because I don't want people converging too heavily initially. I like to go ahead and see what I'm messing with, especially on a new map. So, it looks like there's not much over here. 
Uh, they're definitely going to be in this room, though. So we're going to go ahead and pick off a couple quietly. Just, uh, boops. Knock you out. And we're going to knock you assholes out. Uh, the sustain fire, it does get their attention more than a pistol, but for time's sake, I'm just, you know, trying to plow them out. Oh, you coming at me? Oh, that doesn't work. Okay. Oh, well, thanks for picking them off. Seriously, just fucking die. Okay. That, sometimes, they, sometimes they twitch. Get off! Yeah, and then we'll play dead. So, I don't think... Now, usually some ammo or grenades will spawn here if you're lucky. Uh, just keep an eye out around corners for... Uh, uh, let's go ahead and switch over to the pistol. Keep an eye out around corners for... Uh, for creepers or... Where, bowls or whatever the fuck everything else is called. I haven't memorized all the specials yet, and I've... Ah, I've locked a little bit of time, not too much. Fuck off. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's a lurker. Who shot me? Where is it? I shot you. You were in the way. Now, I wouldn't say take the coward's approach frequently, but uh, if you want to stay a little cautious, by all means. Uh, what's over here on the desk? Uh, double bear shotgun. I'm not too big on shotguns in this game. It's not really my thing. So I think it's about time we stand up. You know, I kind of proved my point with the whole... What's over here? I kind of set the point with the whole, you know, stealth mechanic. Yeah, no, it's, it's easy to stealth for enemies. They're not too frequent, you can kind of run around, do your thing. If you want to go loud, it's not going to have that much of an effect. It's just going to make everything on the level a little bit more hostile to you. For the most part, just playing it cool, taking your time, that's that's a very viable strategy. And I definitely recommend it whenever you have to. Listen here, motherfucker, stay on the ground. Y'all want to come at me now? Hmm? Okay, luckily no special infected yet, but that's not too unusual, but most times they will just kind of pop out of nowhere and be like, how do you do? Here's my zombie dick. Eat it. Which is odd, because they're the ones who want to devour us. Listen here, you motherfucker. So, an easy way to go ahead and tell what is dead and what is not, the reticle will glow red if it is over a hostile target, so whenever you're passing a body, be sure to check the color. It's just one of those small things that will keep you alive. It's, it's not a big deal or anything. You can really manage without it. And taking your time to clear levels instead of rushing like I'm doing? Yeah, that definitely helps Putin too, but you don't want to go too slow. The entire room to my right is full, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, no, you definitely want to take your time if this is your first time through the map. If you don't know really what to expect, if you haven't dealt with special effects before, listen here, motherfucker. I'm not stupid. I'm stupid, not that stupid. Oh, listen here, motherfucker. Boop. Lurker. Nope. We gotta get out. Okay, so hopefully they have a decent weapon. Uh, that's good. I haven't used it yet, and I'm not gonna... I prefer to stick with automatic weapons if I can. Uh, how are my teammates doing? They're all full on health. Yeah, we're looking good so far. So let's go ahead and reload this, and then we'll open up the door. It's not unusual for something to be in here and butt fuck you. I hit the button. Angel, you want to move out of my way? Okay, so you're determined to stand there. If you get shot, it's not me. Wrong floor, assholes. Alright, everyone in. Four special infected spawns. If you dilly-dally a little bit too much, it's not like an entire horde's gonna spawn. It's, it's more like a special infected will spawn around a corner and yeah, it could potentially lead to a horde. It could fuck you over, especially if it's a screamer, but it's not too likely for that to happen. So here, you definitely want to take the quiet approach, uh, because if you're not ready for what's going on, you're gonna get fucked. Jesus Christ. Look down. So we're just gonna go ahead, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and keep an eye open and try to take these guys out. Now, if you really do want to push the limit, or uh, you want to start off with something hip, Oh yeah, I forgot, they're all running by chasing after helicopters and shit. If you want to go ahead and knock out a couple initially, you can go ahead and shoot these down. Uh, just do it slowly, one at a time. And when I say slowly, I mean fucking slowly. If you do two too fast, close together, uh, the entire horde's gonna, you know, get triggered. And you definitely want to pick up explosives for your heavy. You can do the explosives, you can do an automatic weapon, whatever, do you think? Oh, there's the weapon I want to see, I love my assault rifle. <sighs> But yeah, no, you're definitely going to want to pace yourself whenever you're about to, you know, kind of throw yourself at a horde. You don't want to go in all guns blazing. And you definitely want to try to make sure that you can destroy entire clusters of them, especially when they're climbing. You want to aim for the pillars, take it down so that they can't really reach you. All right, right about here, you're going to want to start sneaking because it's very easy to trigger them or the ones on the other side. And that could lead to your uh, yeah, companions or people playing with you to panic. You know, just a little thing to pay attention to. Dead and use the dance. All right. We're good there. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of extra ammo. Ooh! 
Do I want the assault rifle or do I want the SMG? I'm gonna take the assault rifle. It's been a while since I've used it. In the later levels, I've been using the SMG a lot more because it's initially silenced and, you know, has a decent fire rate and it's, it's easy to use. The assault rifle, you don't really have to worry about too much with it, but it appears less frequently. I'd prefer to level up the, you know. I still haven't used the advanced SMG. I'm not too concerned about it. All right, let's go and pick you guys out. Try to aim for headshots. You don't really need to worry about that. These guys drop pretty easily. Just, like, it really is a matter of taking what you get. But in situations where you're trying to stealth through, just one well-placed headshot, they get the fuck out of your way. It's golden, it's glorious, and I do not recommend using sniper rifles. I, a lot of people will have their own playstyle. I just, I'm not attracted to sniper rifles in a, in a zombie apocalypse scenario, you know? I prefer the, the good old tried and true trusted handgun. You guys on the floor, Dad? Okay, you better be dead. Don't be lying to me. If you lie to me, I'm gonna hate your guts. Now I'm just peeking over here, because sometimes there there's a health kit or another heavy weapon or, you know, maybe a decent secondary. And it looks like we're not lucky this time around. Oh, you alive. Can't fool me. Alright, so I guess it's time to go ahead and initiate this. I usually just go ahead and, uh, boop. 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 Listen here. I said boopins. And a boppins. Alright, so we're gonna want to quickly get over to the other side with our heavy. Listen here, fuck off, assholes. Yeah, we're gonna wanna stop that right away. We're starting the pillars, throw a couple of explosives down there, not a big deal. Ooh, I'm slowing down a lot. Oh, motherfucker! I think this is the first time I've actually been down in the game. And that's a great example, you don't wanna run off on your own. Will someone heal me, please? Thank you, asshole. Yeah, we didn't cut down too many of them. That better not be why they- Oh, yeah, the hazmat, that's another special. So basically, they blind you and damage you a little bit over time. You want to make sure that they don't reach the top, and you want to target the bomb as much as possible. That way, you can get condensed damage among the group. No, like that, but if you thought, what's coming? I heard someone call it a special. Bull. Use some armor plated assholes. If you can target the head enough. Oh, motherfucker. Okay, so if you can target the helmet enough, you can get a headshot on those motherfuckers. It's not too likely to happen unless everyone's firing at him at the same time. Uh, the biggest thing to worry about with him is, you know, just not getting charged. If you avoid getting charged, you can down him with a single melee attack. I missed the first time around, so I had to take a second and swing. Nothing too special there. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and heal up. Wow, this is the first time I've actually needed to heal because I was being a little bit too cocky. And it's, uh, again, it's been a couple of days since I played. It's not a crazy game. It's not ridiculously difficult or anything like that. No, it's actually pretty fun until you get into the higher levels and you have to deal with assholes online and you just start crying yourself. Okay, there's something close by. Hazmat. Alright, so in the top left hand corner, okay, Lurker just jumped over me. There we go. Alright, so in the top left hand corner, you have a radar. It'll base tell you the basic directionality. Most specials won't pick up on it right away. Like a Lurker, you're not going to notice until you actually get close to it. You're just a dead body. A Lurker, you're not going to notice until you actually get up on it and start dealing with its tits. But for the most part, you're not going to have to worry. So we have a stationary machine gun. I'm not a fan of these. They're pretty fucking wasteful. Give me an auto turret, or, you know what, I'll take barbed wire over this. It's nice to have someone on it, but it's a temporary solution. It doesn't really buy you much time overall. Okay, so we have something close by. Alright, looks like it's a bull. Yeah, basically, oh, there we go, the Omac defense turret. So basically, wherever you place these at, you know, that area is pretty much covered. You don't have to worry too much about it. So I'm going to go ahead and slap one of these down here. If I can just keep an eye on the right, I'll be fine. I don't want these to be close. I'd rather them come close to me so that I can fuck with them. I don't want them to just be stopped right there. Because if I have those guys up close, they're going to wear down and run out of ammo faster. And then I'm going to have to run through the horde to go ahead and clear them, clear them out or, and, and refill them. Lurker. There we go. Okay. Just being careful. You know, being cautious. What is this? High voltage defense grid. Okay, so I'm going to want to put that on the other side that doesn't have the turret, so it's not wasting ammo. But yeah, no. The auto turrets will run out of ammo, and these areas, these fuckers right here, will break. So just something to keep an eye out for. And I'm getting tired of all the sniper rifles. I'm not too worried about that. What is this? A bull? Hazmat. Get that gone. Watch for the cloud. 
Okay, so that's all the traps that they gave us this time around. All I have to do is make sure that I'm full up on everything. So let's go ahead and restock the ammo. Let's make sure we have a med kit. Yeah, we have a med kit. Let's make sure we have a heavy weapon. Uh, I have the rifle. Uh, I have an assault rifle. It's fine. We'll have an LMG. Okay, I hear a lurker. Let's just get away from it. Yeah. All right, so they should be coming any minute now. So let's just get down on the heavy weapon and then... Well, should I start with this? Nah, I'm going to start with the heavy weapon and then I'll go straight to it. Uh, fucking get out of my way, Tashawn. Try to destroy the pillars, keep them at bay as much as possible, keep an eye on the left side of the screen, make sure it doesn't come from behind, looks like we have a special infected incoming. Uh, there's a little bit of a lag between these, so... Uh, uh, let's go ahead and use this real quick. It sounds like a bull's about to charge me. Oh, something's going on right behind me, okay. What's going on? Ooh! Ow! Dicks. Okay, let's make sure this area is covered. Yeah, not too much going on over here. All good. Sometimes you just gotta hack and slash. And that's another thing, whenever you get halfway through the reload animation, you can go ahead and just quickly pull off melee attack, killing anything close by, and immediately fill in your clip, so... Just something to juggle and keep an eye on whenever you're fucking around with this shit. Just knock out the, imme uh, the immediate danger and get back to it. Nothing to worry about. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, uh, I'm still at full health, but yeah, like I was talking about, these fuckers run out of ammo, so let's just uh, restock you real quick. I'm gonna make sure that I'm topped up on ammo. Watch your left, always watch the left. For some reason, lurkers tend to spawn more to my left than my right. I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's something frequent for everyone, it just happens to me the most. I'm cautious of my left because of it. Uh, refill your ammo, please. Stop being a bitch! Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and grab an, uh, one of these rocket launchers, yeah. Welcome home. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, open this gate, get to it. So far, so good, so simple. There, there have been a few messy patches, but like I said, it's been a little while since I played this, and I'm trying to rush through it just to keep the time constraints. It's still going to end up being one of the longest, uh, you know, uh, looking glass episodes I've ever done, but eh, it's worth it. All right, I'm not seeing anything, but there's something right there. We got some grenades right there. Nothing right there. All right, I'm pretty sure all you fucks are dead. Yeah, all you fucks are dead. Ooh, even better. I just love the MGL. I don't, I don't know why. It's just the feeling, the popping, the explosions. It's good for me. It is great for me. I love it. There's nothing like just being able to fire a nice rapid volley into a group and keep going. Alright, so we got Zeds incoming. Shouldn't be anything behind me. If there is, the AI I will deal with it. Try not to get too far ahead of them, because specials can spawn and fuck me up. It's best not to get tackled by a bull if I can help it. They'll come to me. I'm not even worried about it. Clan the train, they'll fucking come to me. Uh, let's just go ahead and pop that right there. I don't want to go to the edge, because there's a high chance of a lurker. God damn it, stop walking in front of me if you don't want your brains blown out. Trying to get too close or too far away from my group. I want to keep somewhat close, but not too close. All right, that's taken care of. Uh, there's something over here. There's something on our left. Let's see what it is. Bull and a lurker. Uh, don't you dare fucking charge me, you piece of shit. Thank you. The lurker dead. Oh, and there's a hazmat. A lurker, bull, and a hazmat. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and get down here. Check our new safe zone. Well, relatively safe zone. Make sure we topped up on ammo, have all the weapons we have, have some explosive goodies, and see if there's a heavy weapon we want to change out for. Not likely. Uh, I've never used a PDW before. Maybe this is a good chance to try it out and level it up. Not an amazing chance. Okay, so basically what we're going to be doing is popping up with these doors, checking for materials inside, and uh, bringing them back to the train. Nice and easy. Oof, barely enough. Screamer! 
fucking take it down. Okay, so those guys will actually attract swarms. All right, let's go and get in here and start getting this shit before too many motherfuckers spawn and start trying to ruin my day. Found a box. Bringing it back to the train. Come on in. We're open. Yeah, I'm away. Listen here, bitch. All right, hopefully nothing's gonna. Ah, uh, there we go. More enemies. Cause why not? Will you stop jumping in front of my bullets? God damn. Okay, so we got a bull right underneath us. Gonna try to pick him up before he actually gets up here. Well, goddamn. Seriously, get out of the way of the bullets! But yeah, no, basically the best way to go ahead and take down the bullets is have someone act as bait and then stick it behind and stab it in the fucking ass. Just knife rip that son of a bitch. Uh huh. Alright, let's go and grab that. I hear something close by. I don't like that sound. Oh, there it is. Y'all have fun with that. Alright, let's go ahead and get back in that room, grab the other case, and get the fuck back here. I hear shit. Oh, there's a screamer? Worker! Fuck! Yeah! Creepy fucker! Where's the screamer at? It's over there? Alright, let's go ahead and force our way down to it. We're gonna be dealing with some pretty steady streams of baddies if we don't take him down. I'm on it, I'm on it. Spotted a screamer. Little bitch. Anybody else? Heads up, bull. Of course. It's never simple. Alright, cool. So we're gonna move on, try to take this last uh, couple of objectives. You only have to get five of these cases, which is a uh, godsend. I'm happy that we're not having to take fucking 20 of the sons of bitches, or 13, like we're trying to fuel up a fucking race car. God damn. It back to the train. Definitely gonna want to keep an eye out, because they will spontaneously spawn specials around the corner, as, as you've seen active so far. Just like that, so all you have to do is really pay attention to the AI vocal cues, and you'll know what's around you. Job. All right, so I don't know exactly where it's going to be. All I know is it's going to be close by. Just got to keep an eye out for it. If I spot it, I'll try to ping it. Oh, God damn it! there's another staircase I have to hit. Oh, another thing? You can also ping zombies. You can ping items, ping zombies. Let everyone know where shit's coming from. I heard a screamer. Where's it at? Let's get the fuck down here and get over to this other door. Now this is the dangerous part, running off alone. This is how you get fucked. And that's why I don't like hearing that there's a special after me. Holy shit. Well, at least someone else procced it. Oh, I was trying to get behind you, you dickhole, but don't worry about it. Some people are just assholes, I guess. Alright, so we got a little bit of breath. We can go ahead and take this out. I'm, okay. I'm still not entirely awake. I completely fucked up my sleep schedule over the break. You shit blood, you shat blood. I, I'm still a little fucked up. I, I ruined my sleep schedule over the break, so basically just... Inconsistent, staying up until five in the morning, and then you know, sleeping in, and then out to, what, then end up staying up until five in the morning, and having to be in like three hours later. It's it's a mess. It really is. Listen here, Angel. That was on me. Go and just trigger the entire room. Alright, hopefully nothing jumps on me. 
Oh, I hear it. Got another one. Fuck, oh, hey. This is actually a really fun game if you take the time to play it. I've run, I've run this map a little too many times, but uh, you know, a couple too many times, but it's still pretty fucking good. I only recently popped into Jerusalem for a bit, and I, I was happy with what I saw, but at the same time, you know, I I had also been playing it for a solid week. I needed to take a break from it. Well, not a solid week, like maybe three days straight, just three days. I mean, it's a very simplistic game. You know, after a while, you're gonna need to take a breather from it. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab the other box that we had over there. Okay, so apparently my explosives are full. I'm not too worried about that. So we have the option to go ahead and breach another door. I'm just gonna go to where I was. Keep it condensed, keep it steady. I hear... that's a screamer. Oh, I really want to just fucking hit it. Is this a better angle? Not really. I just kind of poke us out. Do you have a fucking problem? Do you mind? All right, I'm going around to it. I'm away. Just gotta keep an eye out for specials. Make sure I don't get downed. Listen here, dickbag! Fucking asshole. Yeah, of course, there's a hazmat in the way. And the dick parade would fucking show up right after I silence Dick Nuts McGee. Fucking stupid assholes. Oh, Lurker, tried to get me. That's the funny thing. They they say Creeper, but it's listed as a Lurker. I always found that odd. Another one. God, that one's sprinting at me. They usually just lay in wait, but eh, whatever. Alright, so I'm gonna do the dangerous thing, try to move a little bit ahead of everyone else. I'm gonna end up getting butt fucked because of it, but it is what it is. Okay, so nothing right there. Creeper in the back. Nope, alright. Take this room to the right. Just gotta make sure nothing jumps out and fucks me. Oh, I hear it. Something's close by. Something is close by. Not sure what it is, but it's here. Oh, bull. Hey, asshole. Oh, I missed. Alright, I'll, uh... Go ahead and give you that. There you go. Alright, hopefully nothing fucks me on my way down. You never know, things will just spawn at the bottom of staircases or spawn in the safe room or where the fuck ever. Oh, wrong way. That sounds like a creeper. Or fucking lurker. God damn, stupid ass. I'm still scattered. You can tell I'm scattered. I just got off work. I visited my parents, and now I'm I'm here. Listen here, motherfucker. Don't be a dickhole. You be a dickhole. That's when you get dropped. Look at all those bodies. Mm. Nice fleshy bits. All right, let's see what's over. Oh, we got a lurker. We're actually gonna have to go around to take him out. But at least we see him. Let's hold him out here before we have to actually open that area. Hazmat and a bull? You fucking serious? Nice! Let's pop in here, make sure nothing's on the other side of these lockers. Oh, there's a crossbow. I haven't used that yet. Don't really think I want to, but, you know, it is what it is. Now we can just pop this open, come back around, and, uh, well, it, I could have opened it from the other side, but I wanted to take the long way around to make sure I don't get ambushed. It's really about planning your moves. Not really, it's a simple game. Alright, so, that's that! Y'all fucking done? Get in here! Okay, now let's go overwhelmed. 
Oh no, spooky train noises. Not really. Let's check over here. Ooh, that's nice, Cluster. Oh fuck! <laughs> Short, sweet, and to the point. Just how I like it. Mm. Alright, so let's take a look at uh, if we got anything new. Watch everything level up, and then we'll call it an episode of The Looking Glass. Please, loading screen. Please, don't be like... Uh, days gone and take 500 fucking years. Actually, days gone does look pretty good. I was watching my mom fool around with it earlier today. I think I might get it at some point in the near future. Uh, aided the most players. No one! They both aided me! I killed the most zombies! Yay! Uh, special. Okay, fine. I don't want to read that then. Uh, 133 explosive kills. Least damage taken. That would also be me. Most sounds found? Me! Most headshots. 45 out of 500. Okay. And. Oh! Level 12. Well, that's cool. So I got performance bonus and all sorts of shit. I unlocked Wheatgrass as a skill, I guess. I leveled up the PDW a little bit, leveled up the Compact SMG, which is odd, because I spent most of it using the Assault Rifle. I wonder why that didn't level up. Alright, well, that's that. <sighs> like, on, subscribe, keep on, keep it on. I know I didn't do much here, but fuck it. I decided to do an upload.